Introduction to Kidneys Kidneys filter the blood, maintain a constant electrolyte balance, regulate hormones and secrete hormones such as erythropoietin that stimulates the production of red blood cells. Acute versus chronic kidney failure Kidney failure refers to the failure of kidneys to carry out their function. Acute renal failure is suspected when the kidney function suddenly declines for a few hours or days and is usually attributed to infections or toxins in dogs. Chronic kidney failure refers to when the loss of function in kidneys is more gradual and may span a few months or years. This particular case study was of a 13-year-old cat that came in presenting halitosis, a large tongue ulcer, and gum inflammation. My cat has been vomiting a lot, a owner said. I think she's suffering from food poisoning. After opening and checking the mouth, doctor replied, there's quite a lot of ulcers on the right and left side of the tongue, which could be an indication of kidney disease. Diagnosis of kidney failure. Presenting signs are polydipsia, polyuria, vomiting, and anemia. Owners are advised to consult their vet early. Dr. Singh palpated the cat's abdomen and felt two enlarged kidneys. I did a palpation before x-ray and I could feel the kidneys being enlarged. The kidneys were enlarged. The right and the left. Now, normally, the right kidney is more forward. The left kidney is far behind. So they were enlarged and uh, about a golf ball size or a golf ball size. This was confirmed in the X-rays taken of the cat's abdomen. The kidneys are seen to be enlarged and are pushing down on the intestines. A blood test will show abnormally high levels of creatinine and blood urinitrogen. Urinitrogen and creatinine are waste products that are present in blood from protein metabolism that are usually removed from the blood by kidneys. A high level of both products is an indication that the kidneys are functioning optimally. Treatment of kidney failure Number 1. Diuresis at least 200 ml of subcutaneous fluids are given at one go to flush out the kidneys. The flushing process is called diuresis and stimulates kidney cells to function again. If enough kidney cells are functional, diuresis restarts the kidneys. Replacement of various electrolytes, especially potassium, must be done. Second, a low-protein diet is usually recommended to decrease the workload on the kidneys. Third, a phosphate binder is used to prevent phosphorus from accumulating in the blood. Last but not least, drugs to regulate the parathyroid gland and calcium levels, in addition to stimulating the bone marrow to produce red blood cells if the animal presents as anemic, are also prescribed.